What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a pretty cool team right here. We got a Zacian and Shadow Rider Calyrex team that also features Gigantamax Lapras and Zapdos. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, leave. Get out. Get out of here. Subscribe to the channel and join the community. But yeah, today we're rocking out with a pretty strong team. Considering last time we was a decently off meta team. So I was just like, yo, let me get the community a nice, decently strong team. So we're sitting here with a nice Series 12 Gigantamax Lapras team. And everybody loves Gigantamax Lapras. And I feel like everybody pretty much knows how to use it and kind of knows how it works. So I feel like it's a great Pokemon to share for you guys. So starting off in the top left corner for the team preview is going to be Lapras. We got that water absorb as ability. So anytime we get hit by a water move, we can actually recover some HP. So maybe we can make some hard reads with this and get some HP back with it. We got the light clay as its item to actually make our war bell turn last three turns longer. Yeah, three turns longer. So every time we use uh, G-Max Resonance, we're going to get a war bell for pretty much the whole game. We got Hydro Pump. We got Freeze Drive. We got Ice Shard first and priority. And then we got Protect for our fourth and final move. Right next to him is going to be Zacian. And I'm actually a fan of this Zacian moveset over there. Considering it's a little bit different. We got Wild Charge Rock. Usually you got the Play Rough, Iron Head, Secret Sword, Protect. But this time we have those normal moves with Wild Charge. So that one's going to be fun. Making it a little bit different and not the same old Zacian that you guys are used to seeing. We obviously got Interpret Sword and then Rusted Sword as its item. Middle left is going to be our second Restricted Mon. And that is going to be Shadow Rather Cal Calyrex. Super strong, super, super quick. Very good all around. We got the As One ability and we're rocking out with the Focus Dash as item. Move set is Astral Barrage. We got Psy Shack for also stab damage. And then we got Energy Ball for coverage. And then last but not least, we're rocking out with Protect. Fourth Mon is Incineroar. I'm not, I'm not doing a team preview on him. You guys already know about him. He's right there if you guys want to check him out. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Ferrothorn. I absolutely love me some Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn is super, super cool. Very, very good, but sometimes he just gets it absolutely dumped. So when you bring him in in certain situations where they're just physical attackers that aren't super effective, he can control the battle and just soak up shots all day. He's got leftovers. He's got iron barbs. He's got body press, iron defense to bulk up, leech seed to HP recover, and protect for its fourth and final move. Like I said, I really like this Pokemon. Hopefully, we get to show him off to his fullest potential and just start leech seeding our opponent left and right. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be Zapdos, and Zapdos is a very, very strong Pokemon in this uh, in this series. Really, really good. Great Dynamax Mon can just dominate from there. It's got the Electric and Flying typing, which is just phenomenal. It also has that Static ability alongside with the Safety Goggles as an item. And last but not least, we're rocking out with the fairly normal moveset for him, but so, so strong. We got Thunderbolt, Hurricane, Heat Wave, and Protect. Guys, want to try this team for yourself? I don't even have to tell you guys. Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked up ladder. Look to get some wins with this G-Max Lapras. Zassian Calyrex Series 12 team. Let's get rolling here in battle number one, going up against a Kai Ogre and Ice Fighter Calyrex team that features Regilecki, Urshifu, Ndidi, and last but not least, he has Mimikyu. And Mimikyu is actually kind of scaring me. I'm trying to find ways around it right now because if he goes into it, he's probably trying to set up Trick Room and he's probably going to try to get rolling out. So I think I might leave Zassian just to get off started off strong. I really do like Zassian. I might go Shadow Rider Calyrex as well because Shadow Rider Calyrex should outspeed the Zassian. Let me see. Let me see, 222, yeah. And the reason it is good that he actually outspeeds him is because he can take off the disguise of Mimikyu and kind of go from there. So we might want to just double up on the lead here. Or I go in the Lapras and go into an Ice Shard. That could definitely be our play. I do like that. I kind of like that. Ice Shard into maybe a Behemoth Blade if we have to. I kind of do like that lead. So, you know, we're going to lead them too. I am going to bring a Calyrex in the back. And last but not least, I'm liking Zapdos here. I am liking Zapdos. Or I could go into... No, Zapdos is an outspeed. Okay, no, I'm going to go into this. I like my lead. I like whatever we're rocking with. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down and look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But yeah, the Mimikyu is definitely scary here. Because if he can get off Trick Room, then uh, Calyx can really roll out strong. He really can. Then we're going to just see what we can do here. Could go in. Ooh. I did not account for that. Could go into Indeedee Mimikyu. And if that's the case, it's looking a little tough. That's looking real tough if he does. Okay, he goes into these two. I'm kind of cool with that. I mean, I don't mind it. He's going to start to be able to outspeed us. Um, hmm. What should my play be here? I could Dynamax. Uh, could Protect Lapras. Could swap it out. Uh, what do I want to do here? I kind of want to swap it, but at the same time, I don't. What do I want to do? Um, we do get that attack boost here. I could just dump on the Regilecki, no problem. The rain is kind of scaring me. Or I could just go into Wild. Oh, Wild Charge could be dirty. I am going to go straight into Wild Charge. Yeah, I'm going to Wild Charge, and you know what? I might just Dynamax and set off on a Roar Bell. 
I really do like that because we should be able to soak up an easy e web from Red to Lucky. So I'm kind of like that all day. And then my what's called my Zassi might be able to fully outspeed that Kai Ogre still. So we'll see. Let's see how this one plays out. And that's definitely scary though. Definitely scary that he leads to Reggie. Like was not expecting that. He ends up Dynamaxing. Is that Reggie? Is he Dynamaxing Reggie? That could definitely do his dirty. I mean, it could, but then it could not. Let's see if he Dynamax. It's gonna be the Ogre. So Kai Ogre gets the Dynamax. And if I had to guess, he's definitely going into a straight. Guys are right into my, right into my Zassi. Just trying to get rid of him. So if I get off this Wild Charge, I would really like where we're sitting. Because we'll probably go down after we use the Wild Charge. Like I said, e is probably popping, probably going to slow us down. Hopefully, we get off a Wild Charge. We'll take that recoil damage all day. But it should be a decent amount of damage, even though it's a coverage move, because we're plus one. We're plus one. Everybody knows Zassi is just a hit. He plays no games. He plays no games. So we Dynamax you. And this Aurora Bell could do us so good. This Aurora Bell could be really good. I could have protected turn one. Let's get the Aurora Bell up. But we'll see how this one plays out. So e flies through here. He's going to slow us down. Like I said, Lapras soaks it up all day long. We get that big soak up. Speed is gonna drop. Come on, yo. Go next, Zassian. Do him dirty. This thing shows shows orb. Okay, I'm cool with that. And a light. Oh, a lightning's gonna fly through. I'm with that all day. Maybe he thought we were protected. We soaked that up. Beautiful. So we soaked that up. Zassian's gonna be able to go here. And he's gonna put the electric terrain out. We love it. We love the electric terrain because, you know, we got an electric move. Wild charge coming through here. And yes, sir, Zassian. Big old damage there. Big old damage. And more importantly, we're going to be able to do some big damage and maybe take out this Red Lucky. I hope so. I mean, it's not Sash. It's Life Orb. And yep, you just get rid of it. Beautiful. So we got a War Bell set up. Um, I could swap out Sash. I could swap out Sash if I want. I could, but I wonder who he's going to go after. I could double protect and waste a turn. Let's see who he goes into first and then make a play from there. Let's see. Because we still have Zapdos in the back end. Zapdos can kind of just roll in here and take out Kyogre, no problem. And it is raining, which is really good for us. Because our Hurricanes will land 100% of the time. So it goes into Mimikyu, and uh, this is a little tough for us. Mimikyu is definitely going to be tough for us. So, what do I do? Emeth Blade. I think I just go into that, and then maybe... What do I do? Play your jeans. Because he has to have that Shadow Rider in the back. So if he goes for that Trick Room, that could be tough news for us. Could indeed be tough news for us. But we do have this. The Focus Dash right here, which could work more. You know the Focus Dash, which but we can't really do anything. He's going to set up a free trick. 100% right? he sets up a free trick. Hmm. I could double protect, let him set up the free trick room and kind of just go from there. And I'm kind of liking that. I'm kind of liking the double protector. Just allowing him to set up the trick room. Because A, we could we could waste a turn. And then B, my Pokemon will be faster than him because we are minus one on speed board. So I kind of like that. I'm kind of digging it. He goes for Geyser, and can you still eat that up? Please eat that up. Please eat that up all day, right? No way you're doing 49. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And it, like, he has to go for Trick Room here. Yeah. So Trick Room pops out here. So we kind of made a decent player. He does have Shadow Sneak, which I'm kind of scared of. He does indeed have Shadow Sneak. What I want him to do... What do I want him to do? He does have Shadow Sneak, so we're dead here all day. We're definitely dead 100%. I could swap in, but dude, Shadow Sneak does some dirty. Let's be real dirty. Real, real dirty. It's a good battle. It's a solid battle. Um, I mean, I guess I'll go for a wild charge. And then from here, I could go for... Hmm. I, mean, I could just take off the disguise. Probably going to be my play, right? Shadow Sneak's not come out here, so we got to say bye-bye, Zassian. It's tough news. Tough news. I wish we had more HP. We're wasting out these Trick Room turns. We're wasting out the Dynamax. Like I said, I'm really not worried about Kyogre too, too much. I have my two back end Pokemon. Let's see how this one plays out here. Yep, there's Shadow Sneak. Saw that coming all day long. All day long. Oh, we eat. Yo, that's lovely. We eat. We eat. That is great. That is great. I should have doubled down into Mimikyu. I should have doubled down into Mimikyu. So, big time eat there. We are probably slowest on the field right now. So, I can go next and drop uh, my water move. So, this guy's busted. See how this one plays. Is he going for a landing? He might be. Actually, he cannot because we killed it. We killed it. Okay, so we take that out. Um, hmm. So I play here. He's going to bring out Ice Rider Calyx. Obviously. He's going to bring out Ice Rider Calyx. I could bring in Zapdos. I could indeed bring in Zapdos. Zapdos could be a great, great choice here. But he's going to go first. So I'm kind of just trying to waste out turns. Hmm. There we go, Cali. There we go, Cali. Just protect this turn. So I'm looking to just waste out turns here. I'm looking to waste out turns. So I could protect this turn with Calyrex and kind of go from there and try to take out one of his Pokemon. Because here comes the Calyrex. 
you might go first probably right in this case i'm gonna protect the calyrex and i think i'm just gonna roll off from there. We'll roll off from there because how much hp does lapras have lapras has a decent amount of hp if i can land a hydro pump and take out mimikyu definitely have a shot we definitely have a shot for me let's see let's see how this one's gonna play 71 hp i definitely have to protect here well, I can go into a shot. No, I'm going to protect. And I'm going to go for this Hydro Pump right into this Mimikyu. It's a close one. This is a really good battle. We do have that Aurora Bell, which has been helping us out so, so much. So I absolutely love it. So we go into that. He goes into a Shadow Sneak. That's beautiful. Oh, he's going to proc Policy here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Can you go next, Lapras? Can you please outspeed this Calyrex and Trick Room? I would love you forever. He has minus one. It does. Beautiful. And it connects. Come on, yo. Take this thing out. Get rid of it. Just get rid of this thing. We don't need it here. It's in the rain. Get rid of him. Oh my god, Lapras, you never do enough damage. Glacial Lance gonna pop out here. Let's see what he does from here. Let's see what he does from here. Lapras might be able to eat up, but it's weakness policy, which is definitely scary. The weakness policy's proc. He goes in that. We do eat. We might be able to eat up a shadow sneak. We might be able to eat up a shadow sneak. So in this case, we still have our focus ash. And if he's gonna shadow sneak, he's probably gonna shadow sneak into you. Into my Lapras. Because if he doesn't, then Mimikyu goes down. Let's see how this one plays, yo. This is a really good battle. Really, really good battle. So all I'm hoping is it that he doesn't double down into my Shadow Rider Calyrex. Because if he doesn't, we get off an Astral Barrage, which has a high chance of picking up a big double KO. Big, big double KO. And then in that case, I think we can just double protect and waste out the last turn of Trick Room. Sounds good in my head. It always sounds good in the head until, like, they make a move that you're not expecting. So that's, that's my plan here. But we'll see. We'll see. He goes into a Shadow Sneak. Goes into you. Oh no. That's not what we wanted. That is not what we wanted. Hydro Pump comes through. It connects. Oh no. He's gonna pick up a double kill. Oh no. Oh no! Dude, that's the one thing I didn't want him to do. That's what I just said. Can he miss a glacial lance? Miss it? No, he doesn't. Someone eat it? Alright, let's see how this one plays. Okay, so he's gonna go net. We so tough. We cannot take a shot. We have to one tap this in. He's plus four. He's plus four, yo. The one thing that I didn't want him to do was that. And he does that. Does that. I'm super surprised that he actually did that. I'm super surprised that he did that. I'm really surprised. Because if I was him, I would have went into like a Shadow Sneak on the Lapras trying to take it out or something. Because knowing that I'm going, I'm targeting down that Mimikyu. All right, we go into here. I think we have. I think he has one more turn left in Trick Room. Is that correct? Might be correct. L let me see. Let me see. Info. He does have one, and it, this must be a protect here. Dude, there's no way we take. There's no way we win this battle, right? We need either crit or like a burn from the heat wave. It's the only way. A crit or a burn. He goes for the glacial lance again. That's gonna take me out, no problem. So we need a crit or a burn. Let's do it. Let's get it. Let's get the crit or burn. Let's do it. Let's rip it up. Let's go, Zapdos. Clutch it up, baby. Because there's no way he takes him out in one shot. Without a crit. No way. Let's do it. Make it happen. Make it happen, Zapdos. Crit it. Burn, 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 burn. No! Oh, he pops Trick Room. It's, uh, that really doesn't do anything. That's kind of just a waste of time. Um... I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do. We definitely lost one. We just got to click Heat Wave, right? I mean, protecting won't do anything unless we land five protects in a row to waste out Trick Room. Maybe he misses? Do something stupid? Protects. Do I protect now? Heck yeah, I'm going to protect. Oh, he's oh, he's waiting off a Roar Bell. You son of a biscuit. You son of a biscuit. He wakes off. He waits a roar bell. I'm going to protect now. You want to play games with me? Do you want to play games with me? Did I go for the double protect? <laughs> I mean, there's no point. I was wondering why he was protecting. How many turns left, Trickle? Three? Two. Ah! Heat wave. Clutch up. Comes out of this. He, he one taps me even through a roar bell. Eat it up somehow. Did something, do something stupid. I don't know. <laughs> It's GG's. Super effective. It's GG's. Like I said, it was going to take us out regardless of the roar bell or not, but he was just playing safe measures. Solid first battle. GG's to our opponent.
I can't believe that Mimikyu you Shadow Sneak on my Shadow Rider Calyrex. Rough plays there, but great call by my opponent to end up picking himself up that win. But we're hopping into our second battle here. Going up against a pretty cool Zygarde team with Zacian, Rillaboom, Comfy, and then he also has the Regilecki along with that lovely intimidate landers how should we go into this one how should we play i feel like comfy is definitely super scary here with the zygar combo so i might lead zassian alongside with the lovely Lapras. i feel like those two can really do well. i definitely want to bring calyrex in the back end and then last but not least i'm leaning towards ferrothorn i don't know why i just like ferrothorn up against a lot of these pokemon the leech seed the defensive bulk the iron barbs i am digging it i am really digging it but i kind of want to go into incineroar at the same time because like i said a lot of physical attackers Incineroar is probably a must. Let's do it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's, let's grab ourselves a win here in battle number two and grab ourselves our first win for today's video because I want to win this battle to at least give ourselves a chance for a winning record in the third and final battle. We got to win this one. We got to win this one. We'll do that first battle. Inches. We've been having some great battles across the channel. Great battles across the channel for Series 12. Really, really good battles. I feel like every time I'm recording this game, it's just coming down to the wire. He's going to throw out Die Garden, Reg Lecky. Okay, so we could just go straight into an ice move here. We could go straight into an ice move here. Ice will be four times super effective on Zygarde, and I think that's going to be your play. Drop the G Max Resonance. Get rolling from there. He's either going to protect or swap out, right? He's got he's to either protect or swap out. Yeah, let me get this rolling here. And then in this case, drop Behemoth Blade right into, uh, or Sacred Sword, right into you. That is my play. That is the Gene's play for today. Let's get it rolling. Let's get it rolling. Let me get a sip of my lovely little flavor enhanced water. To give us some good luck for this battle. We're going to get rolling. Yep, there's the withdrawal. All day. Get out of my face. Who are you going to go into? Who are you going to go into? Sassy. All right. Yo, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. He's definitely e webbing like all day long. Like, obviously, an e webs can come out here. But an award battle is going to be enormous for us. Oh, or he's not. Or he is not e webbing. He's going straight for the Dynamax. He's like, hey, yo, Red's lucky. Let's see. Let's, let's let you do some work. So he's gonna Dynamax this. I'm kind of cool with that, considering my boy Zassian should be able to chip up some big old damage. Big old damage. Big old damage. Hey, some big old damage. Big, big, big old damage. Big, big old damage. Big old damage. Big old damage man. I should have made the read. I should have made the read, but it's all good. It is all good for you. I just can't have that Zygarde maybe. No, Zygarde's just too good. He's too strong. Too strong. Alright, so Dynamax, we have 414 HP. Much like he's obviously gonna go first, and what's he going for? A lovely little lightning. But she goes to Zassi, maybe thinks I'm protecting. Nah, yeah, we. Oh, hey! What's up with the damage? Why so much damage? Oh, yo! Why so much damage? <laughs> Dude, I hate Reg. Like, he's so strong. <laughs> Too much damage. Too much damage. We go into the Resonance here. He's going to be able to suck that out. But more importantly, we come across with this. So, we're about to poke in here. Um, I think I should go into my Intimidate mode, right? Love a little Intimidate. Yeah. What are we going to you? No. We got to Intimidate. And force a Fake Out. He'll probably protect his ass. He's going to go for Fake Out. So, I'm just going to target down on this Reg. Like, he, maybe just party shot into him. Could indeed do that. I could indeed do that and then stay in here and go for a geyser. I really wanted to. Maybe he thinks I'm guarding this turn. I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna geyser here. I'm definitely gonna geyser. I'm gonna say, hey, yo, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Part and shot up to you. I could have guarded and then party shot, but now that my Lapras is kind of like sitting in a war bell, I should be able to sell whatever Reg like he has to offer. I shall see. Or maybe he thinks I'm guard. Maybe he thinks I'm doing a max guard. Which I would probably think that too. After seeing how much damage that thing just ripped into my Zacian. He's terrifying. Honest to God, it is terrifying. Let's see what he does. Protect from Zacian. Easiest read of my life. Easiest read of my life. And this thing's gonna drop a lightning. And he's gonna go into Lapras. And Lapras says, hey yo, a tasty snack. Beautiful Aurora Veil, I love you. Aurora Veil, I love you. And we're gonna say, hey yo, we out of here. We dip it back. So we dip back a little bit. We go into uh, our Calyrex now. But well, we have to go into our Calyrex. Gotta kind of just go. So guys are going to poke. We might be faster than Regilek. Probably not, actually. That's scary. Probably not. We'll see how this one plays. So we're definitely going to guard our Lapras next turn. Maybe just get off an Ice Shard at least. Let's go from there. So. Do that. Nerf's going to poke. 
And we're gonna get off a nice lovely guys. Okay, so this one's gonna be kind of close. Kind of real close. There's some big damage coming out here. Yo, chipping away, dude. Chipping away. Ch -ch 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 chipping away. Chipping away. Okay, so we get the rain settled. Uh, I got a guard here all day because if not, we're dead. And then I could just go into this Astral Brush. Astral Brush is obviously the best player. So stab damage. It's double hitting. It can do some nice work. So we guard. We got to hope that he's coming into our slot with me. And he, of course he's not. Of course he's not. We're going to trigger Sash. And we still have a fighting chance. Actually, not even trigger Sash because Warvel is looking lovely. And hopefully Zassian goes across into that. We need. We do need Zassian to come across into that, uh, into that Lapras. If he does, we're sitting in a great spot. Sitting in a great spot. So Zassian, please go into that Lapras. Please! I need you here. Please, please, please. Awesome. Awesome. So we outspeed. I can take out Zassian no problem here unless he has like a first turn priority Pokemon. I'm trying to think who does he have. He does have the Zygarde, which is kind of scary. I'm gonna bring in Landers. Okay. Landers comes out here. We outspeed. We outspeed him. I, can, I take out Zassian no problem here. And I'm just gonna Ice Shard. I'm just gonna Ice Shard into that Landers for that four times super effective. And then we're just gonna roll out here. Oh, dude, this battle's gonna be so close. Ice Shard's gonna poke. And maybe, just maybe we can pick up a double KO here. The M plus one, this will easily KO his ass in Astro Barrage. But I'm hoping that the combination of the Ice Shard and this, uh, and this Astro Barrage can take it out. I really do think it can. And if that's the case, we're sitting so good here. He's going to end up withdrawing. I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. As long as we can take out uh, Incineroar, or not Incineroar here. As long as we can take out you right here gonna be cutting it close that's some good damage but it's gonna be kind of you outspeed me you outspeed this calyrex he's choice scarf he's choice scarf 100 100 choice scarf take him out please take him out please all day all day we love to see it we love to see it it's choice scarf that son of a biscuit it's choice scarfed if that would have killed my shadow rider calyrex i'm so upset He's gonna power construct here. Um, so I play. I think we have to fake out the Zygarde here because we know we KO the what's called all day. We know we KO the Zassian all day with the Astral Brush. We know we outspeed him. Uh, this is tough news. I can't believe that thing was Choice Scarf. I was so confused at first. I was like, what is going on? What is going on? That thing's flying. He used EQ. Surprised he didn't protect that, uh, that Zygarde instead. So we're gonna throw out this thing. Thank God for that uh, ice shard. Ice shard definitely clutching up. And we gotta go for a fake out in the Zassian. Or not the Zassian, into the Zygarde and just get straight after this. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, is that thing rocking quick attack? But even if it is, we are ghost typing, which we're The big old attack drop. We gotta fake out onto the boy right here. And drop my Astral Barrage. This should pick up the double KO, but. See, that's fun plays, dude. My boy Shadow Rider Kylex is doing us good. Doing us good. Fake out's gonna poke here. I know I outspeed the Zassian. Roll out here. Get it done, girl. Get it done, horsey. Get it done, horsey. Wrap it up, baby. Give me that win. Give me that win. All day, right? All day, right? All day. All day long. 4KO match for a Shadow Rider Calyx. Gotta love it. 1-1 one one for today's video. Let's hop into our third and final battle. Look to grab you guys a winning record. Let's hit a little victory dance, ladies and gentlemen. Little victory dance. Get the shoulders rolling. Let's get this victory in battle number three. Let's go. One and one for today's video so far. Let's grab ourselves this winning record. Going up against a pretty strong team right here. It's Groudon. It's Venusaur. Cannot go wrong with that. And he also has the Charizard in there. Storm Drink, Astrodon, Incineroar, and last but not least, who would have guessed it? Zassian. This Pokemon is taking over. It's just the best restricted mods. When you can bring two, one of them has to be at least Zassian, you know? Can I go wrong? Can I go wrong? So he's going to have that. I think Lapras could be really, really good here because I can change weather and it is super effective to a few of these guys. So really want to roll into him. Really want to roll into him. So I kind of, but the only thing I got to watch out for is going to be that Storm Drink Ash down. But in that case, I think we're fine because most of the time we're going to go for Ice Moves. Ice is super effective up against a lot of these guys. So I really do dig it. I do dig it a lot. So I'm going to lead you. I am scared of the Groudon. I definitely am 100% scared of the Groudon. Can do a lot of work on me. Um... But also bring you. It could be great here as well. I might lead him. I might end up leading this dude. Hmm. hmm. I think I'm gonna lead him. I do like him as a lead. I do like him as a lead. Let's rock it. 
Let's do it. Do 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 it. Do do it. Da ba na 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 na. All right, let's see what he goes into. Real problem. It could be a real problem because he does have Storm Drain Gash, which he has to be bringing in here, right? I'm thinking he's bringing Groudon, Groudon, Venusaur, or Groudon, Charizard, and Zacian Storm Drain. Those are the four. It's either Venusaur, Charizard, and then the other three. No way he brings both. It's not Series 11. We we bring two restricted mods here. I feel like you have to bring both your restricted mods. So like you know they're bringing. He's gonna end up leading the Incineroar and the Charizard. So, what I could do here, what I could do here is, oh dude, if he swap, that's a that's a problem. If he swaps that Charizard, he's gotta swap one of them, right? He's gotta swap one of them, right? You cannot tell me he doesn't swap one of them. I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop this resonance. Who, who is he gonna swap though? I had to guess he swaps the Charizard, right? I had to guess he swaps Charizard. Good thing I did not go into a Thunderbolt in that slot. The ghost in his... Wow. That's you. Weird. That's odd. <laughs> is he going to swap? It's no way he swaps the Cinnabar. What? What? Maybe he doesn't have Storm Drain Gash now. That's so odd. <laughs> I was sitting there, I'm like, okay, Gashon's coming out here. And it's just like a different blue Pokemon. I was like, what is going on here? Okay. That's scary, though. Definitely scary. That scene scares me. Definitely scares me. I do have Heat Wave, but it still scares me. Hopefully, he's faking out Lapras. Not faking out at all? Give me the Paralyze, though. Chip up. Give me the Paralyze. All day. No nope. pardon shot coming out here. Ouch. We might have to hard swap. Thinking of hard swapping. I'm thinking of hard swapping. Why will we get this Aurora Veil out? Oh, that might be his plan. He might be going to his Storm Drain Gash on now. There's no way he brought... There's no way he didn't bring his Groudon, right? But Charizard. It's got to be Groudon or Charizard. It's got to be Groudon or Charizard. No way. No way. Okay, yeah. So he has Groudon. He did not bring Storm Drain Gash on. Wow. He elected to go in with Incineroar instead. Probably because that's just such a huge threat. In but... Roar Bell's poking out here. I could stay in with Zapdos. I could indeed stay in with Zapdos. But... He is minus one. Huge butt. Huge butt. Uh, okay, so from here, three guys are right. Who's he gonna swap into? Incineroar? Three guys are. I'm thinking of hard swapping you. Nah, uh, okay. I kinda just wanna keep this thing in. I just wanna keep this thing in here. I could double down on that, but I could go into a heat wave and look for a burn. I'm gonna go for the burn. I don't like that. Just in case Charizard does protect. Definitely protect. But he's going to Dynamax the The big old Dynamax coming out here. Let's get ready. Let's do it. So now we know he definitely... Well, we're not 100% sure, but I'm assuming he doesn't have the Storm Drain Gash now. I feel like Water Shots are just free. We can freely go into him. So we'll see. Maybe he's guarded. Maybe he's not. Let's see. Does not guard. He goes straight into a Sacred Sword, which we soak up all day. That's just the tastiest snack he has ever all. Heat Wave's gonna fly through here. Give me a burn on Zassy. That's what I'm looking for. Give it to me, baby, all day. Hate this game. Hate it all. Hate it. He's gonna go for the Overgrowth. Should be another soak for us. We're a War Belt up. We're soaking all day. Wow, beautiful. Love it. Love to see it. Okay. So we get the soak. We get the soak, and now a geyser can fly through here. So this is a solid turn. And we are gonna get some HP recovery back due to the, uh, what's going on? Due to the uh, the grass turn, and we get the weather. Weather's great for us, and we get some big damage. Oh, one HP, dude! What you mean? Not one HP, but inches, inches. So we could drop. I could drop a heat wave. Might not do us good anymore. I could guard and take out Zacian. What's my play? What's my play? Cause he might guard. Might guard. I could guard, which I am gonna do. Try to get some more HP back, and I could. Will Heat Wave take out the Charizard? <laughs> like, that's a problem. Hurricane could be your play. Hurricane's 100% hitting, so I am going to drop a Hurricane into the slot. Let's see what this dude's going to do. He guards. He guards, and we guard as well. I was going to read. I was going to think he was going to go into that. He missed Blade Pops. Block, baby. Block, baby. Run it up. So he's wasting his Dynamax. I kind of like where we're sitting. I really do like where we're sitting. Uh... 
From here, we might be able to eat up a sword. Let's take your sword. Or Behemoth Blade. I don't know. Actually, no, we're out of Dynamax. So. Alright, we're out of Dynamax. I do have Ice Shard. Ice Shard might be able to take out Charizard. I'm going for it. I gotta go for it, right? I gotta go for it. I gotta go for it. And then we gotta go for probably a Thunderbolt. I gotta go for this Ice Shard. Dude, if Ice Shard can take out the Charizard, woo! We'd be sitting purdy. We'd be sitting real nice. Real clean, baby. Run it up. Run it up. Show it to me. All day long here. All day long. Yeah, yeah. Give it up. Give it up. Uh, later. Later. Get this fool out of my face. Get him out of here. Big old ice shard. Picking up a big KO. Hopefully he's asking takes out my boy now. No, you go after him. That's even better. Because we soak. Thunderbolt pokes through here. I can ice shard you down too. But we're gonna get a paralyze, right? Son of a gun, man. Give me a paralyze. That's all I asked for. No paralyze. He can easily pick up a double KO. Unless one of his Pokemon doesn't outspeed the bird. We'll just see how this one plays. Tough news. I could protect the bird. Might bring out Incineroar. Incineroar might be his play and he might just want to fake out chip. I actually kind of hope he brings out Incineroar. No, he brings out Groudon. And I'm going to Ice Shard into that thing all day. I'm going to protect my uh, Zapdos and I'm Ice Sharding right into that thing. It's going to be super effective. We're just going to try to get off as much damage as we possibly can before these Pokemon go out. So we're going to go here. I'm going to go into a Protect. We're going to roll off from here. He has no Dynamax anymore, which is great. He protects Acid. What a turn! Give me the Ice Shard, baby. Give me the Ice Shard, unless Groudon's protecting, but I highly doubt he double protects for what reason. No reason. Ice Shard poking here. More damage, baby. That does nothing. Why is he doing absolutely nothing? He rock slides. Dodge it, Lapras. Lapras is dead, and I'm kind of fine with that. Actually, no, Lapras survives. We get off another Ice Shard. <laughs> chip damage all day. We love us some chip damage. We love us some chip damage. We love us some beautiful chip damage. All right. Come here. Ice Shard flying. Gotta, gotta, gotta do the damage, right? And I mean, if we can't get off a Heat Wave, I might as well go for it. But chances are we're dead. He's going to withdraw. Oh, my God. We're going to get off a Heat Wave. We are. Okay. I'm with it. He withdraws that for what reason? I don't know. I do not know why he withdraws that, but he withdraws. It. I just don't see the. I don't see the science behind it. I shard pokes and I shard just doing a sturdy. Look how much no, like it does no damage, but we'll take it. It's better than nothing. He was gonna fly here. Give me a burn off the ground on. Or then sit on. Look at that damage in the heat. In the heat. And he burns. Oh, it's a crit. Love to see it. We trigger that thing's citrus berry. I like it. I love it. I love it. Rock size coming out here, and that's easy double kill. So he has fake out ready to roll. I could double protect. Um actually I just have to protect his ass here. But but might read that protect and then blaze could do a sturdy but i could just go straight into an energy ball energy ball could do some big damage energy ball could do some big damage oh no grass mm. i wanted the grass i need the grass for that energy ball could do this real good now we got to throw out our two lovely big dogs and i feel like i have to protect Zassian, but if he reads the protect it's tough It's tough if he reads it. Bring on Zass. I think I just double protect here. I think it's just a must of a double protect. It's definitely to play. Don't protect the blade because if if he goes for the fake out into my Zassian and I don't protect, he takes him out with the blades. But if he reads my protect and doubles down in my Calyrex, I lose the match too. So protect has to be the play here. Double protect on both my Pokemon and just waste out that fake. 1000%. Let's see what he was doing. I feel like he was going to read that protect. I feel like he was going to read the Zassian protect. So we have to do this just to ensure us at least getting off some shots here. And he did read it. He did read the protect. He was reading the Zassian protect. Look at that. Look at that. So great call by us to just think outside the box for a little bit and get some turns out here. So from here, I can definitely go for a Sacred Sword. Try to do some damage on you. And then Energy Ball is probably your play, right? Go for the Energy Ball. Is Energy Ball going to do more damage? Yeah, Energy Ball would. Energy Ball just does a bit more damage. And I don't think we're going to be able to take out, but still. Let's see. He's withdraws. And this Sacred Sword might be able to take out Zassian. Sacred Sword might probably be able to take out Zassian, right? 
So I think he just wants that uh, Intimidate swap. I think that's his play. But we still focus Sash on the Calyrex, which is going to help us out tremendously. He protects there. All right. Cool with that. I don't mind it. As long as we can take this thing out with the Sacred Sword. So he just wants to fake out. And in that case, I'm going to double protect again, right? In that case, I just double protect any, any wastes of any waste on Aurora Belt. Yeah, so Double Protect is an absolute must to come out here. Um, unless he reads Double Protect and maybe sets up a Swords Dance. It's a game, man. I gotta Double Protect, man. Gotta Double Protect. Gotta Double Protect. We're gonna hope he doesn't set up Swords Dance. Tough. Tough, 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 tough play. They got so many dirty. Please do not set up a sword stance. Please! Cool. So he tries reading to protect again. He does not go for the fake out. So don't protect is definitely definitely the play of the play of the day today. Pardon shot. Look at this, look at this little dude coming after me with a pardon shot. Alright, harsh sunlight fades. Okay, cool. He wastes out those turns too. The blades is scaring me, but Sacred Sword has to poke out here. I think Sacred Sword can't pick up the KO. Actually, we're we're even now. The double down and ground on. I feel like ground on is great. I'm gonna double down and ground on. I am gonna double down. Let's hang out of here. I think we have to get rid of this Pokemon, right? Please don't protect Groudon. Awesome. We double down the ground. Groudon's uh, the one main threat. And good thing we good thing we double down. Good thing we double down. <laughs> good thing we double down. I wouldn't have been able to live it down. See, I was very skeptical about the energy ball. Like, yo, energy ball might not KO. It's not stab, so it's not doing that much damage. They so make that hard read. He goes for Lariat. We still have Focus Ash. Mwah, beautiful. We still have Focus Ash, which we love to see. So now we can take a sword. We can just go for Ash and Raj, and that's pretty much GG's winning record for the squad. For the jeans community, the online gaming community, baby. The online gaming community. Let's do it. Oh, we're not very effective moves, but still. Better than nothing. Better than nothing. Cancel battle. Does not cancel. I think Sacred Sword might be able to finish it off. Not stab, but it is super effective on this level. And we are even. We're, it's not like we're minus one. From the so Sacred Sword flying out here. I'm the best. I'm the best, baby. Lose our first battle. But yo, we clean up those second and third battles and get ourselves a winning record for today's video. Let me write this one out for you guys. Big fat W. Big fat W for you guys today. Two and one for today's video. Absolutely rocked out with the scene. The first battle was super close. Came down to inches. He won because of a god dang shadow sneak from a Mimikyu, which he made a great call going to my Calyrex. But yo, we made it up for the next two battles. Dominating with this team and just steamrolling opponents for victories. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.